In this video, I will show you how to create an example project for the SMD21 in Microchip Studio 7 and flash it with the bootloader which is provided by Seed Studio. So let's begin with creating the project first. So let's begin with File, New, Project, C, Project. Let's select the device family, which is SAMD21. And now the processor, which is G18. G18E. Okay. Let's add ASF to the project. Okay, now we need to select a port. It is crucial to select a defined board because if we don't do, uh, if we select none or we select our own, uh, it will not add uh, some files to the project, like uh, connection to the pins. So for example, we will use also USB and in those files we got the definitions to the pins we will use with the USB. So let's select this. Next. Okay, and from the startup we got uh, a peripheral for GPIO. And let's add a few more. Let's add delay routines. And we can use the SysTick sys since we don't use uh, free airtos. Go ahead and add. And let's add USB CDC. Okay, and now we need to erase a few files. So first of all, the default main, we need to delete this. And the startup files, also those two files need to be erased. Oh, sorry. Not the project, only the files. because if we don't do this, we get uh, double definitions of functions. Okay, let's go to the ASF main. And here we have some basic code to uh, turn on a LED by a button, but that's uh, for a different board. So let's just uh, leave only the LED LED. 
And for the board, the LED pin is PA17. And we need to provide the number of the pin. So the port A is uh, basically zero plus plus the pin number. So just 17. For the port B, it would be plus 32. It would be PB17. And the state, let's make it high. And again, let's make it low. In the next function, okay. And let's add delay to this. Okay, now if we build the solution, we will get an error because we don't have a definition for the clock source. We can go ahead to this file and just copy this one, which we need, and put it to the clock feature H file. Simply paste it, okay. That's the build again. And we got a few more. Mm, I still don't know uh, why this uh, problem exists here, because in the device vectors, uh, we have this one declared, like uh, the uh, handler functions but it still gets some errors from it. You can simply, for now, just delay those uh, handlers, which are only two, the SVC and NMI. Okay, let's try to build a solution. And yeah, we need to Delete like this, okay, fine. Build again. Yeah, the solution builds correctly. Let's add USB support. And at the end of the loop, we will print something like uh, OK and new line. We can uh, print the uh, uh, charters by using something like this, okay. And the new line. Fine, let's build it. Yeah, it builds. Okay, uh, since we will use the bootloader, it is uh, required to um, define the start of the application. And the start of the application will be at the end of the bootloader in the device memory. So let's go to the preferences, properties, sorry, of the solution. Select toolchain, and in the linker, we need to uh, add a line in the memory settings of the flash. And it's something like dot text. And that will be the address of the start of the program. So. 2000 in hexadecimal. Now let's try to build. Okay, and it works. So now let's uh, put the 
device into the bootloader mode. In order to get into the bootloader, we need to make a short circuit to those pads two times in less than a, a half a second. So we see the LED blinking, dimming slowly, and that means we are in the bootloader. To program we use uh, BOSA, let's click re refresh and select the port, okay. Uh, so now, you go to a pine file and it is critical to set the flash offset to the end of the bootloader, so start of the program, which is 2000 in a hexadecimal and we need to select the erase all. The erase all will erase the flash uh, with the beginning of this address. So the bootloader stays intact. So let's do this. Okay. Uh, you can reset the port by just unplugging the USB. So I will do this. Okay. Fine, let's go to the mm, COM port. Select the port and let's open the port. So we see OK printing and let's take a look at the board itself. The LED is blinking as intended, so everything works fine. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.